think. Sound good, girl. You done good, girl.
okay there. Oh. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? You know who you're talking to. I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, weigh your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> All right, let's go. Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. 
So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch. Same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Anyway, what was you talking about? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. up here so wagon will be coming from that way down from Annisburg and it'll take the two of us to stop it completely or it'll never get done so I was thinking you go play dead and I'll take care of them <laughs> no I'm the better shot and you you're the better actor no you play dead and I'll cover you I got that I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice truck play. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Ah, uh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Oh, shit! Deal with an Arthur! Okay, I'm trying...
be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. Does this make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. Look, there's Micah up ahead. Great. got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. you go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Yeah. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and, uh, you find me irritating, and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me.
something to me. Mister. Like talking to a goddamn wall. Fellers. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. What can I help you with? I never thought I'd see a gun battle like that in Ansbrook. I suppose some like Leviticus Cornwall can afford as many guards as he want. Not that they did a very good job of guarding him. I need a wash. You got a bath? You'll be amazed at the difference it makes. It's right next door. Thank you. Someone to take over for you? Yeah, okay. Sure. Wonderful. Don't you worry about a thing. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. You'll be clean as a whistle. Uh, we don't like strangers much in this town. In this place, I ain't surprised. So, how are you doing? Pretty good. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Absolutely.
goodness. Quite the scars you have, huh? I sure hope I see you again. Oh dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Greetings. Good to see you. I ain't got a lot going for me in here at the moment, so let me know if you'd like anything. See you later. Hello again. Something to miss? Have yourself a nice trip.
Yes, indeed. Welcome. Here for a show? I need a ticket, please. Head straight through those double doors. Thank you. Welcome. Let's Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men Nobody have had cares. a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, you I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the, the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted you artists no to you. 
I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin no Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalikola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. I don't know about that. Okay. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god. That this always scares me. <laughs> now, observe as I the great Benjamin Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What does he do? Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. Come on. Get him pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny this is skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. You hear that? Is no one man enough? Ah. Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. Right. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. 
<laughs> Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <laughs> Take aim. Oh, so the fight is too much. <laughs> and fire. You don't knock his teeth down. Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal oh. and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino! This lady is crazy. Was a light. 
<laughs> Antoinette Sanservino, she's really uh, something, isn't she, huh? Uh, she's certainly singed the better elements of my manliness. <laughs> oh, thank you. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky! <laughs> this ain't Lady Lack! Hello! Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! Well, they can play! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine, all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He sends you picks me up along the line. They connect me with my honey, and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Hello. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night. Dream well and come back soon.
Well, I don't think there's anything else I can help you with. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? I don't even know where to start. She can't keep a house and save her life. ¿Cómo estás? Nah, I wouldn't stay for it. I come home and the potatoes aren't even boiled. I tell her I work all day. You can't even boil a potato. You gotta put your that foot down. Like you get home. You all right, girl? <laughs> happened before, you know. Hair! Oh, come on! God. What is God's name? There you go. That's how it's treated. What's wrong with you? Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. 
Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old earth. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We gotta hang into witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Hope. Oh. Come somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. The whole town in a drinking contest. Damn. Let's go. Quiet. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. And get him. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Where's this shooter, then? Sandinese. 
As long as any of us can remember, it is justice that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. 
I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that, and it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day... You will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Getting real low on meat here. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Thanks, Pierce. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Morgan. I've prayed on this a lot. We'll see this through amicably. Yes? Yeah. Arthur? Mr. Morgan. I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. I don't have a problem. You have a problem? Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yes, yes. Dumb choice, man. I made no choices. It gets better. He's changed. Should have let him die and warm him. Little sack of shit. Seems he's picked his side. Other sides now? 
Seems that way. <laughs> well, I should get back to it. Yeah. I'll go. Have a seat and a swig, Arthur. Hey, Abigail. Hello, Walter. Hey. Hello, Arthur. First come, first served here. That's my girl. Easy there, girl. Yeah. Easy.
Seven cross for a while, eh? Good to see you. So, what do you have for me? All right, let's have a look. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it.
this stuff is easy. <laughs> I got no competition. Why would I want some? I've run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is. And I've never been out of work. in.
done good, girl. Okay there. Easy now. Hey there. Yeah. Oh, hold now.
Easy, easy. Well, girl.